I think we're both kind of natural collectors in a way. The work you collect over time kind of becomes a representation of a life a little bit. Things that have a story or things that you remind you of a certain trip or a holiday or a place or a person, things like that. So I guess the house is more of a kind of slightly ramshackle collection of things that we've acquired over time. We're, we're drawn to things that are unusual. I mean, we have these glass vegetables. We were in Venice and we came across this as a shop. So this amazing old guy working over a bench with a blowtorch and these sticks of like, you know, raw glass. And all he does all day is make glass asparagus. If we didn't live in London, uh, we thought before maybe we would live in Venice. For me, the process of starting a project um, always begins with looking through my books because I have a big collection of um, art and design books and it's the thing I sort of spend most of my money on is, is buying old and rare art, design and photography books. So I'll usually spend the day kind of going through them and trying to get inspiration. Um, might go and visit a gallery or a museum. And then, and then it's just sketching really, I and mean, I do a lot of sketching on loose paper and sketchbooks, and I travel quite a bit and I take my sketchbooks with me. I think, I think craft is very important to me. With my ceramics, for example, they're all, they're all made by hand by a ceramicist, and then I hand paint them. I like there to be an element of craft involved. So I usually get up at 7.30 or 8 and go and do a couple of hours there, and then by the time everyone else is getting into their offices, you sort of won. But for me, a piece of good design is not different from a piece of good art or a piece of good furniture or a good teaspoon. I think it's just something that is a pleasure, you know, whether it's a pleasure to look at or a pleasure to use. The beauty of doing these was that when you have the drawing is obviously very accurate and very straight, and then when you give it to the master, what you end up with is different. So every glass is different. They all have their own personality. 